Welcome, everybody, to tonight's show. We're talking about your authentic self. Uh, do some people have an authentic self while others don't? Is it a conscious choice that we make to be our authentic self? Um, or is it a point of honesty with our own spirit? We're going to talk about that and anything else in the comments after the intro. Your authentic self. I got a little in my hand here. I hold a great, hi Courtney. Thanks for joining. Uh, I have a wonderful um, quote from Brene Brown. You like Brene Brown? I like Brene Brown for the most part. <laughs> um, authenticity is not something we have or don't have. It's a practice, a conscious choice of how we want to live. Authentically and authenticity is a collection of choices that we have to make every day. It's about the choice to show up and be real, the choice to be honest, the choice to let our true selves be seen. That's a heavy statement, but it's all true. It's all true. We, it's a, uh, I, I think it's a choice that we make every day, and um, depending upon the situations that we're in, depending upon the job that we do, Sometimes I've worked jobs where I'm not really my authentic self for the most part just because I'm working for somebody else. It's their gig. It's their, you know, and uh, whether it's a speaking engagement um, or teaching a class uh, for another company, another group, uh, it, it, when you go and you do those things, you're basically working on their what what they want to construct in that. And so sometimes I'm not going to be my authentic self. I'm going to be a I'm going to be Dave the teacher or something of that sort. Um but on the shows here you're seeing the real thing. You're seeing this is this is Dave the authentic. Oh, thanks for the love, thanks for the hearts, thanks for the likes. Um being your authentic self means revealing things inside of you. Um, you know, the most obvious one in the room um, today, in a manner of speaking, is going to be um, Caitlyn Jenner, right? For years, bottled it up for years, and this will be a little controversial because I'm sure some people are going to be like, oh my gosh, but it's, it's true. Um, to be your authentic self is to reveal what you truly feel inside and and then reveal that and then let it be exploited let it be let it just shine out there and in doing so you're going to be a leader you're going to be the one that people idolize you're going to be uh, you know there's there's going to be a group of people her tribe um Caitlyn Jenner's tribe is now like embracing that and going oh my gosh you 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 broke open the seal on you know uh, on the can in in a manner of speaking, um, you broke open the seal that you can now we can be ourselves we can be out we can do, you know do do things on that. There's going to be throughout the decades. There's been different different uh, sectors of a population. <laughs> Let's get technical. Sounds like an engineer problem. Um, that 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 came out. You know, uh, you know, 50s, 60s, if you were gay, you couldn't be your authentic self. You couldn't be, you know, uh, you couldn't reveal yourself. You had to hide it. You had to, you know, bury it down. You had to pretend you were something else. Uh, there's many people that went incognito or went, you know, you know, because they didn't feel like they could be their authentic selves. While others along the way then broke the mold and they 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 uh, came out <laughs> in a manner of speaking. And it's on all different levels. It can be someone that wants to be, 
you know, uh, that their parents are, are striving to make them uh, a, a doctor or a lawyer or something of that sort. And they're like going, no, 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 I just want to be an engineer. I want to be, you know, something totally different um, than they're, what they're forcing to be. Uh, I know in my case, my dad would have loved if I just worked in a factory the rest of my life and, and was like him. And God bless him. He, I mean, he's a, a great man. And he, uh, uh, you know, had a family and worked in a factory and that. And it, it, I probably would, that I'm sure at some point in time was his goal to me because he stated that as, you know, as I was growing up, you know, that that's what you do. You go and you work in a factory for 40 years, 50 years, and you come out and you get a pension and you, you know, that's what you do. You have a family along the way. And that's what he knew. And that, but that was not my authentic self. That was not something that I um, embraced and could do. So, you know, that, that was something. So I had to have that, you know, uh, revelation, that honest, that conversation, that true conversation with myself as far as, you know, what, what did I want to leave as a legacy? Now I'm 53 years old. And I'm looking at that too. I'm looking at what's the legacy. I want to be my authentic self to inspire others to do even more with their lives. So I try to, uh, with the coaching, with different aspects of that, you know, all the way down to trainings and, and that, that, you know, what, I'm, I'm striving to be my authentic self and bring that out. And there's going to be some people along the way that I'm not going to be friends with anymore. You're going to experience that. When you're your authentic self, um, as you see there, you're, you're going to be fearless because you're going to lose people along the way. People that once were your friends now are growing in a different direction. And it could be in a relationship. It could be um, a marriage uh, and that you just, you know, you start going in a different, down a different road and that's just being you, you know, and you have to embrace that. And so if something else is going to hold you back or try to force you into a mold, you know, a square peg in a round hole, all you're going to do is get splinters. So don't do that. Be your authentic self, be who you are, embrace it. And then be the leader and find your own tribe. So, you know, it could be that they temp, you know, your friends temporarily go away. Um, we go through phases in life and what, you know, you go through school, elementary school, then your elementary school friends, for the most part, aren't your high school friends. And then your high school friends aren't, for the most part, going to be your college friends or, or, if you go into a trade of some sort that, you know, all of a sudden you, you have different friends and different along the way. And it could be that at one point, and it's not any good or bad. It's just that they're, it's just different. You're going to change. People change and some go down one road and you go down another. I know if I reflect back into my twenties, I had friends that, uh, were very heavy into drinking, very heavy, you know, and I had to make a conscious decision that that was that something that I wanted to do. And it wasn't an avenue that I wanted to pursue. It wasn't something that I didn't want to be that person. I grew up in a very small town and I didn't want to be that person that, you know, walked in and that was your bar stool and you sat there after work and, you know, two hours and then you went home and things like that. That was just not what was in my heart of hearts. So, I had to make a conscious decision that I I had to let go of some of those people because that's what they embraced. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's their authentic self. So they're, you know, embracing their authentic self. And I can't hold them back either. So be respectful of others. So it's like on Facebook, you know, people unfriend, you know, they unfriend. I love it. Unfriend me. I don't care. Because if I if I am not in the same you know, uh, place that you are at this moment in time. So be it. That's okay with me. I'm good with that, you know, and maybe it'll circle back that later it'll turn around and it'll, you know, come back full, full circle. And we'll kind of meet at the other side of the, the roads when the roads meet back together again, but maybe not. And that's okay too, because we all have our own journey and we have to be authentic when you're authentic with yourself, 
and you have that conversation, that's when things start to really blossom and shine. That's when you are really going to accelerate your success. You want to work on less perfect and more authenticity. Letting go of your ego and getting your ego out of the way is going to be the largest and the, the, the most significant boost. Oh, thanks for the hearts and the smiles. Oh, hearts and smiles. Love it. <laughs> hearts and smiley faces. Um, I think those are smiley faces. I don't have my glasses on. All I saw was yellow with something in it. Maybe they were wows. I don't know. Um, but less perfection, more authenticity. You don't worry for perfection. If I worried about perfection, I probably wouldn't be here on camera because I'd be worried about my lack of hair or something of that sort. And and I did that at first, but then I was like, who cares? No one's going to care. It's what I'm going to deliver for a message that's really going to stand out. If I have something very um, inspirational to say to someone, or if I can help someone along the way, that's what's going to stand out in this conversation that we have every week versus, um, hi, Angie, how you doing? Um, that's, th that's going to stand out in the conversation every week versus what I look like or what I was dressed in or what I wore. Or did I, you know, that was the lighting just perfect. You know, the best and most inspirational and most authentic videos that all of us all of a sudden just like surge you know obviously it just goes through facebook like wildfire and that are the ones that just it they're in the moment it's when people are being authentic they're not trying to be something that you know making sure everything's perfect and all that stuff it's the little old ladies just dancing and someone grabbed their phone and started taking a picture it's the kid that's just running around and giggling and someone just grabbed their phone quick and you know, recorded and stuck it out there. It's the the woman that just you know goes into Target and just buys the the Chewbacca mask and goes out in her car and just goes, oh my gosh, this just cracks me up. I gotta show you guys this. I gotta just you know just that just soars up because they're being authentic. It, they're being their authentic self. And so if we don't worry about the perfection when you're doing these live. Come on, Facebook and live. If you have something great to say, something inspirational to say, that's when the moment is perfect. But it's not going to be about like, oh my gosh, did I, is my makeup right? Is this right? Is this going to be right? It's, just jump on and do it and, 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 and enjoy. Just jump on and, and get on Facebook or get on YouTube. YouTube is live now. Anyone can go on there too. Um, you have all these different avenues. Uh, Facebook is probably the most popular. Periscope, too. Um, I'm not a big Periscope fan because I'm just 53 years old. <laughs> it seems to me I just can't click with the Periscope for some reason. Or click, Periscope just doesn't click with me. I just don't get it. Um, I know it's another avenue that's out there. But you can do that. But don't worry about being perfect. Don't worry about your verbiage. Uh, you know... I'm from Wisconsin, so I'm going to say you guys. I'm going to say, you know, there's different things. Hey, you guys, how's it going, you guys? Things like that. All of a sudden, I have like a Boston accent there. But there's certain things that you're going to say that's not going to be perfect English. I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, my gosh, I said something not perfectly done well. And the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. And I get critiqued every week. I get some people that say, oh, my gosh, your forehead's so shiny. You should do this and that on your. It doesn't matter. It's more about what you say and how you're going to inspire others. If you're in a business of some sort, be authentic with that, too. Don't be, don't, you know, if something in, in your business world you doesn't feel right to you, maybe that's not the right business for you. Or maybe you're the one that just has to stand up and say, you know what, that doesn't feel right. Why are we doing that? Can, can someone tell me why we're doing that? And it could be that that's what they're, you know, all of a sudden that the light bulb goes on. Why are we doing that? I don't know. 
Um, but it could be something that's right. It could be that you're, you know, but be authentic. Have your authentic self. We all come with our own values. We all come with our own. And your authenticity is going to be different than my authenticity. And you're probably sick of me saying authenticity. <laughs> but I'm trying to drive the point home. Be who you are and embrace it. And that's what's going to make you shine. And when you shine, that's when the magic happens. That's when your own tribe comes into play. That's when uh, just things flow to you because you're not trying to pretend to be this certain thing. Um, a long time ago, I'll give you a long time ago story. A what you know, when I was in my 30s, I owned a retail store. One of our clients, and I, I was baffled back then, but now it makes total sense to me as we grow through our lives. Um, one of our clients, one of our customers that came in was um, at that time or just prior to that was married in a long-term relationship, got married right out of high school, went to college, had um, uh, two kids, and then 20 years came around and husband and wife look at each other and go, he said, you know what? I'm gay. And she said, that's really crazy that you say that because you know what? I'm gay too. And divorced <laughs> and, and went off and found the love of their lives and were in great relationships there. And at that moment in time, when he was telling me the story, I was like, how does someone hide from themselves for 20 years or more, you know, because you probably, you know, but, you know, you got to put this into perspective. This is going back into the 80s and then the 90s. So that it was different. And now I think is the perfect time for everyone. You can be less perfect. I mean, we, we see that every day on how many shows, reality shows, things that are out there. So you can be, you don't have to worry about being totally perfect. You can just be more of your authentic self. If you like to run around in, in you know, and it drives me crazy, I'll be honest with you, I'm old school. It drives me crazy when people, I see people running around in their pajama bottoms or their pajamas. And they're in, in a store or something of that sort. That drives me crazy. But that's them. That's their authentic self. They like to lounge around in pajamas, I guess, and live their life in pajamas. Uh, me, myself, I'm more, I like to get up, dress up, be up, and enjoy, you know, enjoy life. So, um, but that's me. That's my authentic self is being, you know, being more on that level. But when you are your true self and you let that shine, what happens? People embrace you. All of a sudden, the woman that has the Chewbacca mask on and is laughing hysterically and says, you got to check this out. Oh, my gosh, this has made me crack up. All of a sudden, that just goes viral, and people are like, oh, my gosh, she's so funny. This is so funny. It's not that she's funny. It's just that she was being authentic with that, and that made everybody else go, wow, that'd be so cool. Or the little old ladies that are dancing, you know, and they're just dancing her way on whatever it is. I saw a, v a video that was going around Facebook, I think, yesterday um, of a, a gentleman, uh, three nurses uh, were doing this dance routine with this this gentleman that was in rehab. And so they did it with walkers and that. And I was like, that was the coolest thing. You just want to sit there and watch it. And, and, you know, it inspires you. You're like, oh, my gosh, I wish I could do that. Or, you know, or, or, you know, you see dance things and different, you know, uh, or babies just giggling and go, my gosh, you know, and, and I saw a statistic, I think it was yesterday on one of the, the, um, uh, the, the things I was watching, the videos I was watching that, um, uh, a, a baby laughs, uh, a young baby up until some, I don't know, age one, two, three, somewhere in there laugh like 300 times a day. And then adults laugh 15. 
So maybe it's just that we need to break out and laughter more. So maybe those videos are just doing great and they would be our authentic selves, right? So develop that. It's going to be something that you have to work at, as Brene says, as Brene says, you know, it's a choice that we make every day and it's a collection of the choices that we have to make every day. So we're making choices constantly and make sure that that's the cho the choice that you make. Choose wisely and let yourself be revealed when you can and until you can 100%. Maybe you're in a situation where you have to be a little bit more cautious. But out of all things, be proud to be you. Boom, boom, boom. Boy, that was kind of cool. That was a good little transition, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm proud to be me. That's who I am. This is who I am. Yeah, you should try to live with this. Ugh. <laughs> drive you nuts. Drive you crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you you give hearts now. Oh, those are oh those are those aren't smiley faces. Those are what those are those are shock faces or something. Um, but thank you, thank you for all the reactions. Uh, but be proud to be who you are, and that's that's the thing. It's a conscious choice that we do, and it's it's a conscious uh, whether we hide or we become a you know a certain role at some. You know, you work in a job and maybe that's the role that you have to be is that you have to be uh, a certain thing. You know, you're the you're the the leader today or you're the you're the widget, the person that puts the widget in the other widget. Widget A into widget B to make product C, you know, um, but you, maybe that's just not, you know, but when you're out and about and you're with your family. You're going to have boundaries. Um, I know I have boundaries with some of my family. You know, there's just certain things that just don't, you know, I can't be my authentic self or I can't, you know. And, th and their expectations could be different. Each person is going to have a different expectation on who I am. Um, you may see me this way. Now, son, you might see me on a weekend somewhere where I'm not, you know, scruffy, the hair's messed up, I got a sweatshirt on or something, and you'll be like, who is that? He kind of looks familiar, but I don't know who that is. Um, but that that's my authentic self in that moment, you know, uh, is, is being that. But be honest. Let it come from your spirit, what your true self is, and then uh, eliminate those fears, that's how you're proud to be me is if you eliminate the fears because the fears are the only thing that hold you back, correct? And I get a hallelujah. <laughs> There's your aha moment for the night. Um, fear is what's going to hold you back. So eliminate the fear, right? So sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself. What are these things that I fear? You know, what's holding me back? Do I fear making money do i fear and that's a legitimate thing you know you you do i fear success i've had those discussions with myself you know what 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 are these things that i'm fearing that's holding me back because once you can just embrace who you are get out there do it show the world who you are then you're going to get um you're going to see it come quicker and you know faster more rapidly. It's going to be a catalyst, you know, because people are going to embrace who you are. Uh, you may have people refuse you a little bit, but they're not part of your tribe. They're just not that person. So get rid of that. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of who you are. That's all I got to say. It. <laughs> so hopefully this helped you. Um, hopefully this inspired you. Um, and, uh, let me, you know, give me a, uh, a, a comment after, you know, the repost, um, the edited version. I also have a great, uh, quiz that, uh, is out and about. You'll probably see that it's being kind of passed around Facebook and that, um, it's a joy quiz. You can, you can test and see where your joy level is based upon answering on those questions. Took a little work to get 
those questions and what kind of questions and I want to keep it quick and easy. I hate those quizzes where it's like now it's an essay or something of that sort. You know, if you if you uh, uh, call me up or if you email me and say, hey, I would like to, you know, do some coaching in that, then we're going to get more in depth. Are we the right match? You know, I'm going to ask you a lot more in-depth questions than that joy quiz is ever going to reveal. Uh, but then, you know, that's that's a different level. Then you, it's then we're talking. You know, you know, do we mesh? Do we have the the same focus, uh, or is it, or or is there someone else that I can put you to that's going to give you, um, get you to the next level, uh, faster, easier than I would, because not everybody meshes with everybody else. But be proud of who you are. Um, be your authentic self and you will watch things just blossom in your life. So, um, work on that. Ask yourself the hard questions. What do I, what am, what fears do, do I have that are holding me back? And, um, come back and give a like to my Facebook page, comment after the fact, uh, YouTube, go on there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All the videos um, every week that are out there are going to be on the YouTube channel. You can search them up, I think, on Facebook too, but they're easier if you go on my YouTube channel. That's all that's on there are all the videos from all the shows. So you can go through there and search up to which topic you know suits you best and what's going to help you get to the next level. Uh, other than that, I will be back here next Wednesday night because I will be on the road Tuesday night. Uh, so next Wednesday night, I will be on here. Um, and uh, other than that, I hope you have a great week. Enjoy. Be your authentic self. If you're struggling with that, uh, come on, find my quiz, take the quiz, see where your joy level is at from 1 to 30. See, I haven't seen anything higher than a 27 come through yet, so check it out. You might be the first 30. There you go. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next week, Wednesday. Have a great week. Bye-bye.